One of the potential drawbacks with buffalo grass is that it doesn't grow quite as dense as our other turf grasses like tall fescue, Kentucky bluegrass, zoysia grass, or Bermuda grass. And so the plants aren't as close together as those other grasses. And so that leads for more opportunity for weed seeds to germinate in the buffalo grass stand and contaminate the buffalo grass stand with weeds. Some common examples of weed problems in buffalo grass are going to be tall fescue, uh, even Kentucky bluegrass can be a weed in a buffalo grass stand, Bermuda grass, henbit is a big problem in the springtime on buffalo grasses. What we've got here today is some windmill grass and windmill grass is a perennial grassy weed and that the fact that once this windmill grass plant has germinated it's going to live here forever until we do something about it. Some of the key identifying characteristics of windmill grass are going to be the seed head. The seed head will come up and germinate and look like this windmill shape or this bicycle wheel type shape. The seeds expand off in all different directions. Windmill grass is a warm season perennial grass and the fact that it greens up in the springtime like buffalo grass, it grows well over the summertime and then it turns brown and goes dormant in the fall like buffalo grass. That's important because that makes it harder for us to find selective herbicides that can remove windmill grass from a buffalo grass stand. Currently for homeowners about the only option for removing windmill grass from a buffalo grass stand is to spray it with non-selective herbicides like Roundup or uh, herbicides that contain the active ingredient glyphosate. Typically you're going to want to make sure you apply that herbicide when the weed is actively growing. A lot of times some people want to apply the herbicide when they see patches of that weed in the early springtime. Well the windmill grass isn't growing in the early springtime so you want to control this weed when it's actively growing in June and July. For more information, visit your local Extension office or visit our website at kansasgreenyards.org.